With Pluto TV, there is no commitment. It's totally free. Thousands of shows and movies that will always be there for you. Uh, I think you might have dropped something. I know. I'm meat cuting. Stream now, pay never. Pluto TV. And many more. Come spend New Year's with us. New Year's Eve Live, Nashville's Big Bash. Tonight, starting at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Space, space, the final frontier, final frontier. When we seek out the unknown, we will find things that challenge us, but we do not give in to fear. We make our stand together. I think we make a pretty good team. Look up and let's see what's out there. This can be your new home. Yes. Make it so. Make it so. Let's show them what you got. This week on 60 Minutes, that. That's incredible. I'm Bill Whitaker with 60 Minutes. It's 60 Minutes. 60 Minutes. 60 Minutes. Are you ready for some tough questions? Let me ask you this. How do you answer that? Well, explain that. You had made a decision to give your life for your country. Did you know you had talent? Absolutely. Freaking You're gonna be on <laughs> 60 Minutes. 60 Minutes, Sundays at 7 on CBS. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News This Morning at 7. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, December 31st. Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 7 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Rachel Kim. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez in for Nichelle Medina. We want to get things started with a check of your next weather. Olga Espina joins us. Here in studio in Olga, I knew to brace for the rain tonight, but it's already started. It yeah. was drizzling on my yep. way in this morning. Yeah, we are already seeing some wet roads out there. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. And if you're heading outdoors tonight, you will need the umbrella for sure because uh, we are expecting uh, some intense rain as we head into the evening hours. Right now, uh, just a few showers, but yes, it will impact your drive. Some slick roadways as we head into this afternoon. Uh, we're looking at still some cool temperatures even outside right now. Still most of us in the 50s. As we take a look at satellite radar tracker, you will notice that rain starts to intensify by 6 o'clock. We're looking at that really heavy rain over Santa Barbara continuing to push in from the west. And by 9 o'clock in the evening, look at that, where you see those yellows, those oranges, that indicates some of that heavier rain, and that is sitting right over L.A., Ventura, moving into the IE and into Orange County as we head into late in the night. So we'll continue tracking this for you. I'll let you know if it's going to President's world leaders and Hollywood stars, how she changed the game of journalism. One couple's plea to get their bulldog back after it was stolen from them while on a walk. And as we get ready to start the new year, police are reminding you to enjoy it responsibly. And it looks like it'll be a rainy New Year's Eve here in Southern California. Indeed, so be prepared if you are going out. CBS 2's Tina Patel live in Grand Park where the big L.A. celebration will take place. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. This is supposed to be one of the biggest New Year's celebrations on the West Coast. Grand Park really empty right now. Just me and a few security folks. But later on this evening, they are expecting this park to get packed. They're hoping for 40,000 people. And we got a sneak peek of the big light show that's going to be happening later tonight. Take a look at this video. It is a 3D light show that's projected up on City Hall that they put on to ring in 2022. Should be a really nice celebration. They say actually that they had to keep cancel the New Year's celebration here at Grand Park the last two years because of the pandemic. So really nice to have this celebration back. It's a free event, good for the entire family. They've got two stages, so lots of music, lots of food. Should be a really good time. There is only one problem, and that is the weather. Take a look at this. My photographer has been shooting the rain that we've been seeing in downtown this morning. And unfortunately, these light sprinkles are kind of on and off. They are expected to stay with us through out of the day into the evening. It has been a while since we've had rain like this, so it is 